Ratness, you would never leave this store because there's so many Funkos. Imagine a commercial and leisure space designed to reinvent the shopping experience. Something that's a bit more entertaining and tailored to the different personalities. Something that old malls and shopping centers should turn into and not have the same old stores that we see time and again. It should be a place where you could spend hours on end having fun with friends and family. This is X Madrid. Let's talk about how we get here from Madrid. All right. So if you're traveling using the metro system, be aware if you're actually going from one zone to another, because you may need to buy tickets for the new zone that you're entering to be able to exit the station, uh, which actually happened to us. We had to go back one station to be able to purchase the exit tickets. We were, we're coming from zone A, so we're coming into zone B. So if you're changing zones like we did, you have to buy separate tickets uh, for the zone that you're traveling in, right? So today, we're at a mall called X Madrid. And the X is, yeah, you guessed it, for extreme. Oh, I don't know how extreme it is, but it's a mall where it's kind of like focused on, I'd say like extreme sports, right? Skateboarding, like mountain biking, uh, water sports. Well, I don't know if they have a pool for surfing or anything like that. They probably do, we just haven't found it. But yeah, it's really cool. It's basically everything dedicated to kind of like those extreme sports, like clothing, equipment, um, I, I do believe they kind of have like a skate park here. Really cool stuff. And also kind of strange too. If you're like a fan of anime and you know, figures and statues and all that stuff, there's actually a floor dedicated to that kind of stuff. Which, to me, it's kind of like a weird intersection where you have extreme sports and then you have all the anime stuff. So, uh, we're gonna check that out. Um, and yeah, just enjoy the mall since it's raining outside. This is a great place to get away from the rain. So yeah, so. As you can see, there's kind of like a, a trail. There was people that were skateboarding down that trail. And you can see there's a lot of like kids on scooters. And uh, there's people on their mountain bikes. They're practicing something on their mountain bikes. But it's really cool. It's really open where you have a mall where you can do all these things. From doing axe throwing to looking at the latest motorcycle models, there's no shortage of things to see and do here. Just check out these sick designs. Or, if you prefer a nice looking bike, they've got those too. Among my favorite stores were obviously the skate shops, which bring back good memories from my younger years. It's always great seeing all the cool graphic designs. You also have a couple of venues dedicated to airsoft. My kind of stuff. <laughs> VR airsoft, I mean, what more could you ask for? I've always wanted to do it, so I guess VR is going to be the way to do it now. Then, you have On Gravity, which is a center to practice and learn all kinds of freestyle acrobatics with massive trampolines. You also have areas for kids and adults to practice climbing. You can take classes or just practice on your own. On the lower floor, there's Marepolis, the largest diving and deep freediving center in the country, with two pools, including one more than 20 meters deep, the only one of its kind in Spain. And outside, you'll find City Wave, a very cool infinite wave to learn how to surf even when you're miles away from the ocean. If you're getting hungry, there's a whole food court outside and a couple of other restaurants on the inside most of which serve fusion, international, or fast food. We decided to take a break at Anubis, which has lots of cocktails, mocktails, and coffee options to enjoy while you're catching your breath. What'd you get? Now say it right. Pina colada. Pina. <laughs> 
I try to go for my usual. Everybody should know what that is by now. No, I'll give you three seconds. <laughs> Old fashioned. They didn't have it, so I went for the next best thing, which was something exotic. <laughs> it was the ginger 43, which is kind of like ginger ale. Uh, equal 43. I don't know how to say that in English. 43 in liquor. Huh? 43 liquor. Liquor 43. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm having a good time. Where are you at? What you doing? I'm hanging from this door. Me. You don't like escape rooms? I don't. <laughs> this is one of those. I'm, I'm kind of bad at them, but what I find funny is that they advertise that it's for team, team building. I think uh, escape rooms aren't for team building because you're going to end up strangling one of your coworkers. <laughs> A better option for the escape rooms for me is the awesome arcade and bowling alley or the super modern movie theater. That's if you like watching movies in Spanish. Juguetronica is a good option to learn about cutting edge electronics, take a drone class, or to check out the newest toys and gadgets. All right, and uh, now we're gonna be entering the X market. Fun fact, uh, Spaniards call these kind of stores freaky stores, tiendas freaky, which I find kind of funny, but hey, if they if they can have these stores, more power to you, right? Because we don't have, we don't have a mall that has a store, stores like this. This is actually really cool. But my favorite character is Kakashi. I haven't seen his face though yet, so <laughs> if anybody's seen it, send me a picture of it. So far so good. Yeah, so far so good. Where are we going now? Uh, next we're gonna go to the Dragon Ball store. So if you guys uh, watch one of our videos, I think it was one of the, uh, maybe like three winners ago. We saw this one in the theater, the uh, Broly movie. This is really cool. But now we're gonna go check out the uh, Dragon Ball store. Here you go, this is your main man, Goku. One piece portion of this tour. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see if they actually finish the manga. This or next year, right? Because it's coming close to, I think at least the series is coming up to like about a thousand episodes. So maybe they'll finish it soon. Burton Land. If you're a fan of Tim Burton, then this is a place for you, right? I'm assuming this is gonna be a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Let's see. This is probably a dream come true if you like all this stuff. So. Second, I'm gonna say Abex. Abex? Abex is not here too. That's just a favorite. His favorite movie? Yeah. Wow. This is really cool. Ah, for 
For you Harry Potter fans, there's a Harry Potter store. Batman. So yeah, I, the place is really cool. I mean, they nailed the aesthetic. It really makes it fit in the world of Harry Potter. Which is really cool. I like it. Oh, here we go. All the wands. For comic book, superhero, and action figure fans, there's also options for you. So, uh, if you're a really big fan of uh, Funkos, they have a store dedicated to Funkos here in Spain. It's, what is it called? Fun Fan? Yo, I'll say, Yo tu Fun Fan. Yo Fun to Fun, something like that. Yeah, here, let me show it to you because uh, I don't know the name, but it's a huge store with just Funkos. Masters of the Universe, or actually DC figures in the style of Masters of the Universe. Our sports. So yeah, if you love Funko Pops, you're gonna be here a while. They have every theme imaginable. And if you're feeling lucky, you might wanna try the item lottery store. So it seems like the whole store is yeah, I was I was really excited for it because you know I'm really bad at lottery, so I was like, yeah, I don't think I want to spend the 12 euro. But she did, and she got to figure out it, and then she got to hit the gong, which was the best part for me. We have just a couple of more cool stores to show you. This Nintendo will definitely take you back in time with so many of your favorite Nintendo characters and memorabilia. The Zelda merch alone was worth stopping by for. Themes and music and everything is just really cool. Uh, yeah. Right next door, we have the Walt Disney Shop, which has lots of merch from the classic movies, as well as stuff from Pixar. And right next to it, you'll find La Poquetienda, with all things Pokemon. Everything from toys and books to chocolate and trading cards. Okay. 
Finally, for the foodies in your life, here's a treat. So there's one candy. It looks like it's a candy shop dedicated to a lot of like Willy Wonka chocolate items or candies, which is really cool. Like if you're really into that, you could uh, buy a candy bar and potentially earn the uh, golden ticket. One Candy is also next to the Super Freaky Market, carrying lots of Japanese treats, drinks, and food-related merch. What do we get? We got the Wonka Bar. I'm feeling lucky. This might have that golden ticket. What's the other one? The other one's... Roqueto! As you guys know, uh, I'm kind of a fan of Mazinger, so uh, I just had to get the chocolate bar. It's probably gonna punch my mouth. So. All right, after five hours, I guess we're done. Yeah, I, I, I'd say we saw about 85% of the stores. Yeah. 85% of the stores, and this mall is like super packed. And I can understand why. Like, there's a lot of activities for like families, children specifically. For all ages, but there's a lot of things that children can do. Right? Yeah. So, it's very convenient. Yeah. Kids can be playing and parents can be drinking. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. So yeah, this is a really, really good option, especially on a rainy day like today was a really rainy day. Uh, I think in the United States they just repurpose those malls that have been kind of like uh, totally dying down. We should kind of like repurpose them, make them like these uh, entertainment centers. I think we're gonna call it a day. Well, we're gonna go have dinner now. So. Yeah. It's okay. about an hour ride back to Madrid. Yep, it is an hour. <laughs> it's about an hour ride. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. one.